What is good, y'all? Your boy P here with another cooking video for you guys. I hope you guys are enjoying my channel. It's been a while, but we're back. So today, we are gonna be making a chile relleno with a tomato cream sauce. Um, this is my mother's recipe, and I would love to share it with you guys, so please stick around, and uh, don't go anywhere. So the very first step to making this dish is to roast up your peppers so you can peel the skin, seed them, and then stuff them real easy or else um, it'll be real hard because it has a tough, tough skin. So let's get to it. Just gonna set these guys over the fire. So we're gonna let these peppers roast until you start seeing some burn marks and don't be scared. That's gonna just help you peel your pepper so they can be nice and tender. And it's also gonna help you seed um, your pepper. So see, this is what we're looking for. Don't be scared. Just let it burn a little bit. After your peppers are done, we're gonna put them in a plastic bag so they can sweat and then you can work with those guys later. This is a little trick my mama showed me growing up. After you roast off your peppers and they're sweating in, sweating in a plastic bag, we're gonna jump straight into making this uh, tomato cream sauce so we can actually cook our peppers in. So we'll show you how to do that, huh? We're doing the in there, tomato, your onion. Garlic. But after you put all your ingredients in your blender to make your cream sauce, which is your tomato, your onion, and your garlic, as you can see, I added about a cup of water so it can help me with the blending process. And all we're going to do is blend this down. We're gonna combine our, our tomato mixture into a, a saucepan, and we're gonna add our heavy whipping cream. Then we're gonna put this, we're gonna put this on the stove and let it cook on a slow simmer. So we have our peppers that have been steaming for five minutes. Now we are. Go, I'm gonna show you how to clean these guys out and then stuff them. So we're gonna take a pepper, and you can just peel the first layer right off. It comes real easy. And what this is gonna do is gonna help you just tenderize your pepper and helps you kind of helps you work with it a little easier. Put some music over it or something. We're gonna check this cream sauce for a little bit of flavor, huh? Uh, if you want to add, you know, something else, something more than salt and pepper, you can go right ahead, but I'm gonna add just a pinch. Kosher salt and um, ground pepper. We're gonna whisk that in. Oh yeah, that tastes pretty good. You know, I might need a little more salt pepper. So. That tastes really, really well. We're gonna let it continue cooking. We'll let it cook for another five minutes on on a on low simmer, and then we'll be back. So we just got done checking our sauce. Now we're gonna sub our piguanas. We're gonna take a pepper, and I'm gonna double up on the cheese because I love it. And we're just gonna go like this, put it to the side, and then continue. So bear with me guys, we are almost there. One of the final steps is to make a stiff meringue. So if you don't know what that is, uh, I'm gonna show you how to make one. So all we need to do is separate your egg yolk from your egg whites, just like this, and we we're gonna dip our chiles into this meringue, and I'm gonna show you when we get there. But um, 
this is one of the final steps and we are so close to tasting these amazing chiles. Now we're gonna beat these egg whites to a stick to a stick beak and then we're gonna combine your egg yolks into your souffle, into your meringue. And then that's pretty much it. Take the chiles, com uh, combine it with your sauce and just let them cook. To finalize this video now, we just gotta cut the peppers off. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. We're gonna take one of the peppers, dip it. Oh, look at that pepper. Mm. We're gonna dip it into your beautiful meringue that we just made, very gently. Make sure that you coat it all the way around. And we're gonna put it directly into a frying pan, just like that. And we're gonna continue the same process over. And don't be afraid to get dirty, it's gonna happen. Oh, just look at that. Mmm, I can't wait. Oh my God, guys, just look at this. They look incredible. Wait, yum. So we are here at the final step of this chile relleno frenzy. So now all we need to do is put it on a plate and eat it. And I'm gonna show you how to do that, right? So we have our nice and creamy tomato base here. We're gonna just put it in the center of the plate. Just kind of let it puddle just like this. And then we are gonna take this chile relleno that is just making my mouth water and just place it right in the middle. Now, if you wanna plate this with something else, with a side, feel free to put it over some red rice or some type of um, some beans or whatnot, but I'm just gonna eat it on its own. I'm gonna garnish it with some cilantro leaves. You know, just here and there, everywhere. So now if you guys made it this far, you know, Please make sure to like, subscribe, and drop me a comment. You know, what could we do better? But honestly, when you look at this, this is as close as perfection as you can get. So I hope you guys enjoy, and you guys have a wonderful day, huh? Y'all take care.